opportunity to come to West Virginia and play uh, at the place I love. Mm -hmm. uh, but I tell you what, you know, um, they did not fall short when they came in and replaced them. I mean, they did a great job finding some uh, new guys to come in. Now, I love our current staff. Uh, I think they're great people. Yeah, I mean, they really care about you as a person. Uh, not only do they care about you, you know, you know, like what you're doing on the field, they care about your academics. And I think their their interest is completely, you know, genuine. Uh, and they're, all, they're always there for you. I mean, every Friday we try to have meetings. Um, just about whatever, you know, what's going on in your life? How are you doing? You know, what are you doing? You know I mean? Things like that. So football, take football completely out of it. They care about the person you are and they care about developing young men. I think that um, the athletic department did a great job. What about the on-field stuff, the, the <clears throat> stalling that, that's been going on the last few practices? Big adjustment for you guys? Um, of course, it's a big learning curve, you know. I mean, we're going from odd stack to 4-2. I mean, yeah, that's a big deal. But uh, our defense now is really versatile. You know, we can play anything. I mean, there's not a thing on the field we can't play. And uh, it's, like I said, it's a learning curve, but I think it's coming along very well. Uh, I think our guys are adapting well because ultimately, you know, when the old staff departed, they gave us, they had a lot of knowledge they gave and bestowed upon us. So I think that we didn't, you know, fall short in that category. So uh, I see us improving every single day. Uh, we're not nearly where we need to be. I mean, Coach Brown talked about it today. We got a whole lot more practices. We don't play till, you know, September 1st. So we got some time to develop and stuff, but uh, I think we're on our way. Can you elaborate on some of the differences that go into a new formation? Is it scrapping everything that you guys have learned and going back to the fundamentals? Yeah, well, sometimes it is. I mean, there's, I mean, every defense has different calls and such. Um, but you know, this is different now because we rotate, so we'll have a strength in a week. Um, sometimes we can flip it over under fronts. Um, there's different calls, different stunts that we didn't do before, um, and timing's different too, just because there's a whole another person down on the on the line. So um, it's a huge, like I said, it's a huge learning curve. Uh, it's a lot different, but ultimately, you know. Football is football. Uh, defensive lineman, your job is to stop the run, react to the pass. Um, you know, and you know, as long as you shoot your hands, you know, have good hips. I mean, there's not a whole lot. It's it's football. It's not rocket science. You know, so ultimately, it's not too complicated. A lot of in-state kids. Do any of them come to you, maybe some for advice? I'll transition into this kind of program. You know, it's really cool because. Um, before, I mean, I always knew what it meant to be a Mountaineer. I grew up in the state, you know, um, I'm really proud of being here and stuff. But, uh, you know, now that I'm older and I reflect on what we've gone through and what I've done, uh, it's kind of cool to, like, be able to mentor these younger guys and stuff that have come in. And, like, as I know, I've been in their shoes. You know, I know what it's like to come from West Virginia and to play here. And, uh, you know, like, guys like Eli Wellman did it for me, you know. And so I want to be that guy for them. And I just I think it's really, really cool to be in the position I am to help others, especially being in state. But I think that that's one thing that everybody who's in state shares. You know, it's, it's an attribute that not a lot of people have. And then when you come here, you, you attain that attribute regardless of where you're from. How has your time changed from now since when you got here and you were talking to guys like Elijah? Man, uh, it's, a, it's a lot different, you know. I mean, we've gone through a different player, a lot of different players, a lot of different coaches. Um, but ultimately, you know, this is still West Virginia. You know, it's all blue and gold. So, um, you know, we got the same kind of people here. Uh, you know, it's that Mountaineer mentality, that, you know, blue collar work ethic. I mean, ultimately, you know, this is West Virginia and not a lot's changed, you know what I mean? Reese, any of the younger guys impressed you, jumped out to you here over the past couple days? Absolutely. There's a lot of guys that um, I thought weren't living up to their full potential uh, this winter. And I tell you what, guys like, um, and these aren't guys that I'm saying aren't living up to their potential, but just guys in general like Dante Stills, um, Tyrese Allen, they're coming out of their shells like the way they need to be. Um, I think that Darius Stills is becoming more of a leader. It's his time to lead now. I think he's doing a lot better job at that. Um, you know, Taj Austin, he's doing a lot better, and he's a new guy to the program. You know, I think he's finally jumping on board, and he's uh, on with what we're doing here. So I think we got a good thing going. Reese, you always worn that wristband. <clears throat> Don't make excuses. Is that new? This is new. Uh, coaching staff provided this for us, so I think it's a good thing. Like I said, um, all the coaching staff came with that blue collar mentality, and this is something that we had addressed you know, as soon as they came in. Uh, and one thing, you know, we've already talked about the new coaching staff. We already had media days about that. But one thing that stood out to me that I don't know how many people hit on was obviously we have to earn their trust just as much as you know they have to earn ours. So it's a two-way street here, and I think it's one thing they were really trying to, you know. Uh, bestow upon us is their mentality. It's a blue collar mentality. And I think this is, you know, zero tolerance for excuses, just get it done, you know. And I think that's something that's going to you know, take us a long way. So, um, no, it's not something I've always worn, but I think it's, uh, it's a mindset that we have to go into with this season. I think the coaching staff is really forcing that issue, and I think it's a great thing. Everybody got one, or just like the everybody? Everybody. everybody. And so it's a good thing. Any difference in, you know, playing?